Hey there, Stefania Weiss coming at you. Just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about um, who makes a good coach and things that you need or don't necessarily need to be a coach. So um, I, like I said, my name is Stefania. Uh, I am a star diamond coach with Beachbody. I have been a coach for two years now. I'm a mom of two and I'm a nurse. And I think that sometimes we get this idea of what a coach is or isn't. And so I kind of want to clear up a little bit of the differences between um, what you might think a coach is or um, who makes a good coach and stuff like that. So, okay, so first off, a coach and a personal trainer are two very different things. So as a personal trainer, you're someone who either works in a gym, you're giving out workouts, you're customizing workouts for people, um, you are, you know, maybe you're putting together like some meal plans for them. I know not all personal trainers do that, but some do. Or, um, you know, you're working in an online setting somehow. Um, you're most likely certified in kinesiology uh, or you're certified, you know, through some type of personal training certification, either NASM, um, ACE, and there's a few different ones that are out there. Now, to be a coach, you do not have to be a personal trainer. Our personal trainers do make awesome coaches too. It's a great way for them to broaden, uh, to broaden their business. However, it's not a requirement. You see, Beachbody already has the trainers. They have the super trainers. They have Autumn Calabrese and they have Chris Downing and they have Tony Horton and Sean T and all these, all these super trainers who are certified. They have nutritionists who make up these meal plans. What our job as a coach is, um, is to be there to help to guide someone to help them figure out what plan they need, what program is good for them. So you have to educate yourself on the different programs that we have. There's some that are low impact. There's some that are weights. There's some that are cardio. Some that are dance, hip hop. There's all different ones. Um, and your job is to make sure that they uh, the person is getting the program that they need based off of their goals. What you and the questions that you're going to ask them. Okay. So a coach does not have to be a personal trainer. Okay. So that's that's the first thing. Um, for anyone who, sorry, I just finished dinner. Sorry, guys. <laughs> for anyone who um, thinks that they are, you know, you have to be in perfect shape to be a personal trainer, I mean, to, to be a coach. You do not have to be in perfect shape to be a coach because you are there. Um, you're working on yourself daily, too. As I had a baby a year ago, I coached through my pregnancy. I think my business actually did amazing while I was pregnant and I was nowhere near being in amazing shape. So you don't have to be at your goals in order to coach someone else, in order to teach someone else what they need um, and to motivate them and push them through to get them through their program. Your job as a coach really is to help them to make sure they succeed because let's, let's be real, the reason that most people quit is because they have no one to keep them accountable. They have no support system. Um, so a coach does not have to, um, you don't have to do this full time. You can, you can do it part time. I work my business in between the mom cracks of life, to be honest. Um, there are some people who work full time. There are some people who work, uh, you know, who, who work full time with their career and then do, you know, this coaching on the side. There are some people who, want to maybe cut back their hours at work. And so they're doing this to supplement that. That was me. Uh, when I started working, uh, when I started as a coach, I was working part-time as a nurse to at least two 12 hour shifts a week. And now I'm down to somewhere between two to four a month. And that's my, my requirement is to do two to keep my position. And I do still want to keep my license and stay active in that. But I want to be home with my kids. And so I've been able to come home and be home with them more. So a coach does not have to be someone who goes in full time, 40 hours a week. Um, guys, I work my business somewhere between three to five hours a day and not all at once. And that's only on the days when I have the time. So I usually wake up early in the morning. I work on it a little bit then. I work on it at nap, at nap time. And then I pretty much don't do really any business stuff until after my kids go to bed. So I really work this business in the mom cracks of life. Right now, my husband is downstairs. I said, I just need 10 minutes. And he's watching our kids while I do this. So this business really can be for anyone. You don't have to be a mom to do this business. Um, you know, I know that there, you know, there's a lot of people who, you know, I'm sure that you've seen that are moms. You don't have to be a mom. You don't have to be a nurse. I know there's a lot of us in healthcare. Guys, um, there's no, there's no um, perfect person to be a coach. Really, the perfect person is just someone who is willing to work on themselves, to show that they're living a healthy life, and to um, motivate others to do the same. And so, you know, I hope that kind of clears up a few things for you. No, you don't have to have six-pack abs to be a coach. 
no, you don't have to do this full time 40 hours a week. You can work this business when you get it in. There's a lot of people who do something called a power hour, and so they can get it done. They can get their business done in an hour or two a day. Um, you know, and so it's it's a matter of just kind of figuring out where that time is going to work for you. Um, you don't have to be, you know, a, a mom or a nurse or, a, you know, have a, a crazy story or a crazy transformation already. Anyone can really do this business. And those are kind of some of the things that we get a lot of questions about as far as coaching. So uh, with us expanding into the UK, coming up here pretty soon in October, and with so many people who have been interested in this opportunity, I hope this helped to clear up some of the questions that you may have. So if you have any more questions, please feel free to ask them, put them in the comments below, and uh, look forward to talking to you more.